Can you catch? The history of Negro Leagues baseball. But will teens buy it? Teens that may be caught up in today and tomorrow, but not necessarily yesterday. I think we always felt like young people didn't care about history. I never believed that. Negro Leagues Baseball Museum President Bob Kendrick on a new collection of what's called streetwear. How much of an appeal does the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum brand have with what you might consider your target demographic? I think a lot. That's you know? Andrew Dowis, CEO of Pro Athlete Inc., selling baseball bats and gloves and now Negro Leagues Baseball-themed clothing, hoodies, T-shirts and hats, all inspired by the stories of the Negro Leagues. And what Andrew's line does is it makes it relevant. It makes history cool. And, and that's a great thing. The selling of the items is kind of the secondary part. Telling the stories of the Negro Leagues was kind of what started the whole thing. Stories which are shared on the same website as the clothing on sale. Totally unscripted. He had his crew come in. We sat down and he turned the camera on and said, Bob, just start telling stories. And that's what Kendrick did. And to hear the people behind the clothing line, it works. And people are increasingly falling in love with stories. I think it's just been really cool to see. And I now walk around and see people <laughs> repping our stuff. But, you know, the Negro Leagues, you know, is, is kind of everywhere right now. You can make a home run. Now to see the clothing line and to hear the stories, go to routine.com.